On your desktop, double-click the icon shown to open Technomatic's plant simulation. Click File and then New to create a blank model. This will open up a window where you can manage the class library. Next, you have to click the Libraries tab, look for Statistical Tools option and ensure that it is checked. To add a new folder to the class library, right-click on Basis, hover your mouse on the New option and select Folder. Rename the folders Test Models, Facility Components and Exercises. To move a folder into another folder, you need to hold down the Shift key. To change the order of folders, just drag and drop them wherever you prefer them. Now right click on test models, hover your mouse over the new option and select frame. Rename it as shown. To change the default unit measurements, click on tools and then preferences and then go to the Units tab. To change it for the current model only, go to Tools, Model Settings and then the Units tab. We will now start constructing a basic model. Go to the Material Flow tab in the Toolbox and add a Source, Drain, Event Controller and 7 single procs. This can be done by dragging them into the frame or by clicking once to select the object and then clicking the second time on the position you want it to be placed. To add more than one object of the same time, remember to hold down the Control button on your keyboard. Next, we will connect the objects as shown. Remember to hold down the control button to add more than one connector. Now drag a box around all the objects, right click on one of them, hover the mouse on the Arrange Icons option and select Distribute horizontally. Your objects are now evenly distributed. We will now rename the objects by selecting them and pressing F2 on your keyboard. Rename them as shown.
Don't forget to add the event controller. We now want to set the end time for the simulation. Double click the event controller and go to the settings tab. Set the end time to be 5 days and ensure that the delete end use on reset checkbox is checked. We also want to show a summary report at the end of the simulation. We will now reset and run the simulation. Play around with the speed and see what effect it has. This is the summary report. Take note of the total throughput. You can also view this in the Type Statistics tab of the drain. We will now change the processing time of one of the single procs. Double click on drilling and change the processing time to 3 minutes. Reset and run the model again. Note the throughput once more. This is the effect that the processing time has on the throughput of the system. Remember to reset your model when you are done and save your model often. To change the type of MU or else known as mobile object, double click the MUs folder in the classroom library and drag and drop the desired MU onto your source. You can also change this by double clicking on your source object and changing the MU path on the attributes tab.